This is Jordan Tower with JT News. Make sure you smash that like button, smash that subscribe button. Let's get right into the news. All right, so first off, we got little Dirk in Chicago. People were spotting him, I guess, because he's never going, doesn't go to Chicago that often anymore. And uh, but they're kind of like snitching on him in a way because it's like, what if he's got some ops that are looking for him? They're putting the vehicle and everything he's in there, Chicago ish. Uh, anyways, next up we got this is. Oh, gosh. What is this? Uh, 25 years later, uh, Miss Jones comes out and says, She effed Tupac with Moni live at the same time. Okay, so they, they saw Tupac in the club. Tupac said he wanted them both. They don't, I don't know if they look this good anymore. They look decent at this. Yeah, it's good. But, uh, <laughs> Tupac definitely uh, took them both down. Uh, she said this on the recent Drink Champs. And Moni said this. Is it, is it Moni? Yeah, Moni said this before on uh, the radio. She was like, yeah, yeah, it's a yeah, happy birthday, Tupac. And, you know, I cherish those times together. <laughs> like, listen. Uh, we are acknowledging Tupac's memory. 20 years ago, he passed away. Um, you know, it's been a long time. What up, Mo? No, I'll, I'll, I'll expand for the room and for everybody who's listening because Donkus was making funny noises when I said that we shared a hotel room mm. uh, when we were he on tour. He ain't the only guy you shared a hotel room with. <laughs> All right, but to, because I was speaking about Tupac and we are, uh, you know, celebrating his work and his life, and everything, so I will ad- allow you to understand the fullness of what that was about. And no, we did not technically date, but yes, we spent every living minute. Y'all slept together. Yes, we did. Mm-hmm. But yeah. we did not. Yes, we did. You slept together, but yes. you didn't sleep together. Exactly. Yeah. Basically, these two have both admitted to smashing Pac. What an accomplishment. <laughs> What an accomplishment. <laughs> Next up, we got... This is creepy. This is just a few of the pictures of Kanye, uh, his new girlfriend versus Kim, and he dr- he tries to address his girlfriends. So he's like, yeah, I want you to dress just like him. Look. <laughs> this is just a few. Kanye's like, yeah, yeah, dress just like her. <laughs> it's crazy, okay? Kanye West is... He's just creepy, man. I, I can't... <laughs> There's no other way to say it. Jay-Z's a crafty guy. Let's get right into this one. All right, so Jay-Z's laughing right there. <laughs> I'm going to take the whole company for myself. And Dame's like, ah, because <laughs> that's what happened. Okay, so recently Jay-Z blocked an NFT sale that Dame Dash was going to do with a reasonable doubt, right? He was going to sell his portion because Jay-Z wasn't going to meet his price. Well, Jay-Z auctions off an NFT for reasonable doubt on the anniversary today. Convenient, huh? It's been 25 years. And he's... uh, The NFT sailed heir to the throne, a reference to the album's original name. Uh, Features artistic reconceptualization reconceptualization of the artwork done. Uh, July 2nd, starting at $1,000. It'll probably go really high because NFTs are hot right now. Funny how we blocked the whole Dame Dash thing, but he's able to do whatever he wants, right? About the reasonable doubt. When Dame should really, you know, this is going to go to like some organization to help people, but don't ever be fooled by that, okay? These are organizations, nonprofits, you can still pay yourself to work for the nonprofit. Only 10% of the nonprofit has to be used for the actual purpose of the the nonprofit. 90% can be used for operating expenses. Always remember that. So when everyone says they have a nonprofit, it's really just hey, <laughs> another way to make some Dallas, okay? Richard Saigan, who is the owner of Fashionova. Okay, so something they're saying that he was targeting this. He might not even have been around at this time, so they're misreporting this whole thing. 
What happened was, is he lives in the Hollywood Hills. Some guys were in an Audi parked there. Three guys, two guys got out with masks. They approached these other two individuals, put them on the ground, robbed them. A security guard comes out from one residence around this guy's house. They go into a, you know, go back and forth, gunfire, ba 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 ba. One guy passes away, one guy's injured, drives away in the, the Audi, they get pulled over, boom, done, okay? This guy might have nothing to do with the whole thing, Richard Sagayan. I don't even know how this guy has so much money to pay everybody to wear Fashion Nova, promote Fashion Nova, big stars, and then able to actually make money off of Fashion Nova. Because it's like, you're paying almost everyone to represent Fashion Nova, right? But, uh, I don't know if everything, you know, does it all add up. <laughs> I don't know. Seems a little unrealistic, but hey, the guy has something figured out. These clothes must cost a dollar to make or something. I don't know. Anyways, this is Jordan Tao with JT News. I appreciate you guys, and I'll check you guys in the next one. Thank you so much. Peace.